Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Uh, this is question number four from the um, June 2016 International A Level, the Edexcel Core Mathematics C12 paper. It's an old specification, but this is a question about the trapezium rule, which has actually this type of question has become very common in the new P2 papers. So it's uh, very useful to go through. It's also from one of my endotopic worksheets. I think it's question number six from the endotopic worksheet on integration from P2. Okay, so this is also from that um, from that paper. And this question here tells us that figure one shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals the square root of x plus two, where x is greater than or equal to negative two. The finite region R, shown shaded in figure one, is bounded by the curve and by the x-axis and by the line x equals 6. The table below shows corresponding values of x and y for y equals the square root of x plus 2. Complete the table above, giving the missing value of y to four decimal places. So we have to simply just re replace the value the x equals 4 into this equation here, and we can find out the answer. That's going to give us the square root of... Uh, sorry, jumping the gun there. I added it together already. So the square root of 4 plus 2, which gives us the square root of 6. Okay, so the square root of 6, we can just stick down a calculator and write the answer to four decimal places. Press the SD button. We get 2.44948. Two po I'll write it to more than what's required. Where's my calculator gone? That's the wrong thing. Okay, so 2.44948. What I'm going to do is this because I always forget what it is. So I'm going to capture the screen and paste it here. Okay, so two. we have to write this to two, to four decimal places, sorry. So we take this and this has to go to four decimal places. So going to have 2.44948 goes on like that. So four decimal places, one, two, three, four. So you're going to have 2.4495. Okay, so there's the answer that they want to four decimal places. Rounded, yep, that's fine. Okay, so that's question part A of this question. F sorry, see four part A. Then it says use the trapezium rule with all the values of y in the completed table to find an approximate value for the area of r, giving your answer to three decimal places. So basically, this area that we've got here, from negative 2 to 6, um, you can see that the values of x that they've made us cho that they've chosen for us are values of x such that the gap between each of the x values is two units. So you're going to have here like 2, and here 4, and then here 6. So they've made us split up this area into these equally spaced trapeziums basically okay so these are the y ordinates okay and these are like the trapeziums between them so basically what we're doing is we're finding the area under these trapeziums in the trapezium that's what we're doing okay so i'm just i'm going through this we don't really have to go through this um to be honest but i'm just showing you how how this you know the trapezium rule actually works okay so what that's actually what we're basically doing we're finding um, the area under all these trapeziums okay so basically um, if you consider this a trapezium as well you could do um, all this a triangle but you can say that the, the the length of the parallel sides is 0 plus this y value which is 1.4142 and for this trapezium, you've got the length of the parallel sides is 1.4142, and then 2 on this side. And then this is 2, because the y value is 2 here. And the, 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 the length, the, one of the parallel sides of this trapezium is, is going to be 2.4495 and 2. And for this one, it's going to be 2.4495 and 2.8284. These, the, these, these y values represent how high these lines are. So we basically have these trapeziums, and to find the area... You want, what we need is the distance between the parallel sides, which is basically the distance between the x values, 
Okay, that's like the height of the trapezium, because remember the trapezium has an area of the distance between the parallel sides over two times the sum of the parallel sides. So the height is actually the distance between these parallel sides, which is two. So it's going to be two divided by two, that's h over two, times, and then we're going to have the sum of the parallel sides. So for each of these trapeziums, we, we can see that the one, like this line, which is actually zero in this case, is used once, and this line is used once, but the ones in between are used twice. This is used, this line is in this trapezium and this trapezium, this is in this and that trapezium, and this line is used in this and that trapezium. I'm calling this a trapezium even though it's not a trapezium, okay, just because we're using the trapezium rule. Basically, the length of this parallel side happens to be zero, so actually it's a triangle. So we're going to have, you know, half times the distance between the parallel sides times zero plus this, so it's going to give you the same as the um, area of a triangle. So it doesn't make any difference. I'm just referring it to, uh, to it as a trapezium because we're using the trapezium rule and the formula that we're using applies to the trapeziums. So the first length, which is zero, and the last length, which is 2.8284, are used once. And the ones in between are used twice. So you're going to have two times the sum of 1.4142 plus 2 plus 2.4495. And that will give you the area, which in the end we need to round to three decimal places. So we're going to take the calculator. Okay, so we take the calculator again and we put this these values in there. Let's go, let's try and get them. So you have 2 over 2, which is basically 1. And then we're going to have all of these values. So we have 1, and then we're going to have 0 plus 2.8284 plus, then we're going to have 2 times, then all of this inside the bracket, 1.4142 plus 2 plus 2.8284. 4495 close that bracket and that gives us the area 14.5558 5558 they want to give the answer to three decimal places so it's 14.556 that's square units so there's the answer to this question that's the area of r 14.556 square units. Okay, so that's the area of this region R. All right, so now for part um, C. Okay, so part C says use your answer to part B, which is basically that the area of this region here is 4.556 to find the approximate values of these expressions. Now, basically what we found here, this area, is approximately the same as the integral of this curve between the limits of negative 2 and 6. So that's what we've, the region R is actually approximately, approximately the same as the integral of the root of x plus 2 with respect to x between the limits of negative 2 and 6. That's what we've just found. Okay, now what we have here, in C part 1, we have to find the integral between 6 and negative 2 of the square root of x plus 2 divided by 2 with respect to x. Now, this can be thought of as the integral between 6 and negative 2 of a half times the square root of x plus 2 with respect to x, which is, as we know with integration, we can take the constant that's multiplying our expression outside the integral sign, so this is like a half times the integral between 6 and negative 2 of x plus 2 on the square root with respect to x. And we already have this approximate value, and that's using the answer to part A. Okay, we already have the value of this. This is approximately equal to 14.556. Okay, so the integral of this is approximately equal to this. Okay, so I can see I have exactly the same expression integral between x plus 2 of x plus 2 with respect to x between minus 2 and 6 that's exactly what i have here so using the answer to part b we can just do a half times 14.556 so that gives us an answer so i can just use the calculator as it is times 
0.5 and that gives us 7.2279 7 7.2 7.2779 sorry okay which they didn't mention how to round it so I'll round it to 3SF 7.28 square units well actually they're only asking us to find the value of this integral so they're not talking about area here so we can just say it's approximately equal to 7.28 okay so there's the answer for this question so this is approximately equal to this so it's 7.28 okay so that's how we can deal with c part one this is the same is approximately equal to a half of this okay because you can take the half outside the integral sign and what's left inside is the same as what we use the trapezium rule to estimate the value of and for part two it's a quite a similar thing we have to find the integral or an approximate value for the integral with the same limit six and minus two and this time we have two plus two plus the square root of x plus two with respect to x now what we can do in this case is we can just like we normally do we can integrate each of these as separate terms as we normally do so this is the same as the integral between six and negative two of two with respect to x plus is it plus or minus it's plus yep yeah. the integral between six and minus two of the square root of x plus two with respect to x and this we already have we already have this part okay this is the 14.556 so what's left on this under this integral we actually know how to integrate this can be integrated by just adding an x just gets an x to it you just multiply it by x because if you differentiate 2x you get 2 so the integral of 2 is 2x and we have our limits of 6 and negative 2 of course we don't write plus c when we integrate something which has a definite integral um, and then we got plus and this is the answer to part a which is 14.556 14.556 so we have to just find the value of this, which is going to be 2 times 6, 2 times 6, minus 2 times minus 2, and plus 14.556. That's going to give you 12 plus 4 plus 14.556. That's going to give you 16 plus 14, which is 30.556. So if you round it to uh, 3SF, that's 30. Point six. That's the approximate answer for this. Okay, so this is, you could say, um, the answer to this is approximately this, because this is not exactly that value, but it's approximately using the trapezium rule. Okay, so there we have the answer to part two. Okay, and that's the end of this question. So this, this last part, part C of this question here, is very similar to the new style of P2 trapezium rule questions, where they give you something which is related to what you found, the trape what you use the trapezium rule to find, and they say use your answer to part B. So they, what you don't do is use the trapezium rule for these expressions. That's not what they want you to do. They want you to use your answer to part B, which is this. So you have to re-manipulate these in such a way that you end up having this, okay, that you can just replace its approximate area that you found earlier with. Um, like in this case, you can consider this as a half times that integral. And this case, you can th think of it as two, the integral of 2 plus the integral of that with those same limits. And you end up with the, the answer that's required. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. Other questions from this particular paper, C12, June 2016, will be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere over here. Other questions from my end of topic worksheet of uh, integration from P2 can be found in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this region and questions about integration and trapezium rules can be found in this playlist you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon